Uh, Sunny, could you, the one that isn't pointed towards you, could you tilt it down a bit? Sunny? right spec 64 i think i saw his post in a smash board on in early ultimates T doing a number on specs. <laughs> I just have to keep checking to make sure that's a genuine attack. <laughs> oh, specs 60. Losing the first stock of this game. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, missed the chance to punish that. Yeah, generally, you can be pretty safe that he's going to go for the Nair on the landing. Oh, there we go. The nicely done. Zero. No percentage gain advantage going into the second stock, which is a great position to be against Duck Hunt, because the less of a percentage blade he gets, well, once Duck Hunt falls behind in the percents, it becomes a much easier match just because... Suddenly, you don't need to respect what... As, suddenly, it's on Duck Hunt to make you do things, and that's never a good position to be in as a zoner, especially one as strong as... Especially one with as much difficulty to taking stocks as Duck Hunt. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo! Nice coverage by Specs! Mmm, went for the up smash of all things. A bit of a weird choice, but doesn't matter. Still takes the stock without too much trouble. Trying to absorb the frisbee. That is a bold attempt, but it does not work. And there we go. One good read, and that's the stock. Very good for Duck Hunt to find that, because otherwise, you're usually not taking stocks with Duck Hunt any earlier than like 150. There's a nice combo and another read, so built. Closing the gap, which is a good start. Now that's one of the tricky things about for Duck Hunt in this matchup. So many of the projectiles are easy PK fires, which gives him Ness some stage control. 
Oh, that was a pretty smart one, but still gets in the dash attack in time. Okay, now has stage control, needs to make the most of it. Oof, get falls right into the forward smash. Good. Going for some aggressive reads, kind of needs to, because once... If he lets Specs regain stage control, this could go downhill very fast. Right now, has to play the cautious game. Other player's game right now. Sunny T with the percentage lead and building. Ooh! Not gonna take it. That is... That, however, probably will. Nicely done by Sunny T clutching it out. That forward smash ledge trap read was a huge game changer in that game. Wait, is that what I think it is? Despite winning, Sunny T going for the Isabel counterpick. Hmm. Guess he wasn't feeling too. Felt like he is. Isabel was getting re red, or was starting to get downloaded, and so wants to throw off the the download stream. Well, it's a it's a tactic. Well, and so far, it's it's working out quite well. Specs not losing the first stock of this game. They're just barely able to get back to his stage there. Good. Ooh, that was an interesting reflect. Not gonna get much out of it, except the denial of the fishing rod. It would be wild if it could grab herself, but that would just be wacky. <laughs> Right, we'll see what trying to catch him stalling on the ledge that is probably going to be the stock yes it is that's one of the best's big str strengths able to just go for those back throw stocks at the moment's notice who you think you're the only one with a double air nair I mean, they are similar, but Isabelle's is worse, but it's not... Worse is not bad, necessarily bad. Ooh, that was a very good save, but that is not going to be saved either from that one. Once again, Sunny T with the stock lead. Back air, trying to go for the Ed... Keeps him off stage. Good call out on the get up, and there we go. Forward air for the stock. This game's starting to run away from Sunny T a bit. Eh, spoke, maybe spoke too soon. Oh, that's gonna hurt. One for the aggressive read punish there. It's interesting to see him try and reflect the to the fishing rod. Because the reward is... It's not a huge reward. Had a good a idea, just did not quite get the timing right. Or held it a, holding, holding it a bit too long. Yeah, that's a pretty good strategy against Isabelle in this matchup. Just PK fire every time she does the down, the down B. Because there's not a ton that Isabelle can do about that. And that is going to be the game.
Huh, where's... Where are they gonna go next? I am probably gonna have to go play my... Go play my match.
Battle.
Have I not had the mic? It would seem I might have had the mic off. That's a bit embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> but. We're on to the, the Pivotal Game 3. Two very explosive characters on deck. <laughs> oh, oh boy, what's going to be the fat poser here? Fair, not quite enough. Trying to go for the side B. Ooh, interesting choice, the down smash. That sh Probably could have gotten a side B punish out of that, I feel like. Yep, not able to up the onto the platform. And there we go, up air for the first stop. Fair, still not enough. I think that move's getting pretty stale too, which doesn't help. <laughs> That's the sour spot in the air. No stocks are going to be t being taken with s sour spots as Roy. Just trying to throw out everything, hoping that any hit will do it. And Avery capitalizing hard finally gets an out of shield back air for the first stock. We'll see if he can close the gap. A right now, suffocating Avery in that that pressure of swords. And here, there we go. Oh boy, putting Avery off stage. And that is, yep, that is Roy side B. <laughs> Ooh, answering with the up B. That might have been the stock on a lower stage, but not that, not Battlefield. Speaking of stocks, that the the. the Back air for forward air, whichever one, doing its thing. Oh, that's an interesting trend. Teleport. Oof. Very close game at the moment. And that might have been some quite something if he'd done the j jab in the back air. Ice catch with that nair just needs to find a finishing blow. As we saw in that first stock, it was surprisingly difficult for Joke. That is definitely it though. Not even a question. Joke K taking the match, going on to top eight, loser's side. Speaking of top eight, though, I'm about to go up on stream against I'm Tendo, so I'll be back. Just swapping the cameras real quick to better orient them for...
There we go. Be back.
Oh, that did not go well. Eh, that's... Well, I can only hope for so much against... Well, a player like I intend to hope, though. I did come close to beating him last week. Just wasn't able to replicate it. So, what are we waiting for in... I'll be waiting for whoever wins between well, Sunny T and Strife. That's the match we're still waiting on.
I think that aside from the fact that Alpha gets him, um, I feel like Alpha does actually really good for the team fight. Does he like it? Well, Steve is supposed to play with his players. I don't know. But honestly, there's a spot. Oh, he's got one. Wait, the stream broke. There we go. Kofu playing Wario tonight. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Floaty and... Well, oh, Mario's floaty and has that loft to always worry about. Well, not always, but worry about as the game goes on. Yeah, while Roy just has that explosive KO power, power and very aggressive, but does not have a great does not have great recovery. By and we'll see how this plays out. That's Mario Smash attacks for you. They are bad. Kofu's been using them a lot, which... I mean, they're not totally useless, but I think he's probably using them more than he should. <laughs> Getting the down air cheese for the first stock. That's Roy's recovery for you, and that is not going to do it. Did not get the sweet spot. The dichotomy of Roy with the sweet spots, the KO power is through the roof. Without them, you're there. It, it takes forever to take stocks. There we go. F tilt up close. Finally taking the first stock. There, just keep it. Going for the down air again. Ooh, it gave him a free bite. Roy samples here. Hmm. Starting to make a comeback. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That down there is no joke. Catches him stalling on the ledge with the F tilt. That, yep, that F tilt is not to be trifled with. Uh, probably should have just gone for side B. Good job keeping coming in the air. Just uh, finally gets back to the stage and has a fully charged. <laughs> Did not go for the follow up there. Gets an F tilt. Seventy percent not. Is a no, no small deficit, especially against full waft Wario. If that finds its mark, this match, this game is over. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let it rip, and it went, did not work. So this game is still on. It's still on. Ooh, there's a big one that gets it bare on. Good back air to force Kofu into the disadvantage. Yep, that forward air, it's very bad. 
Well, forward smash. Now, sadly, it is... Well, it doesn't matter. Dash attack does the trick. <laughs> Profu taking game one. Here we go, big combo to start. 37%, nothing to scoff at. Mmm, just Joe K on fire right now. And almost getting a zero to death on Kofu. And misses up the jab into back air combo. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Once again, catches him with the bite. Trying to go for the... And F tilt for the first stop. We'll see how long... Ugh, just gets him at the perfect time to ensure that safe recovery. Dash attack putting him off stage. Uh, just going for the simple grab punish. That works. Ooh, respect the attempt. Just did not get the spacing right. Trying to do some dash dancing shenanigans. And once again, Kofu relying way too much on the smash attacks. There's a nice nair. That's the war the specialty thing it specializes in. Double hits for the big combos. Good fair, gonna put him off stage. Yep, eats a back air punish for that bite. Just barely able to get back to stage. She'll start making the comeback. It's missing the punish by a few frames. Unfortunate for Joe K. That's a good bite. That sh okay, still have the jump. Uh, gets the sour spot back air. No good. F tilt will close it out. Building that percentage lead higher and higher. 61%! Doesn't ma as matter as much against Wario, though, given that he has that waft. If he can... Uh, yeah, charge in that... Up smash, forward smash, find its mark. It's not as bad as it looks for Kofu because remember, Wario has the waft. He just needs to take that one stock and then find a good combo into waft and this, this game could ma suddenly be Kofu's. That's uh, easier said than done, especially when you're at 114 where any mistake, mistake could do it. Kofu's definitely going to be looking for the waft soon. Because that's probably his only... his easiest way back to taking this game. That might do it. Not quite. There we go. Let it rip and missed. And now he doesn't have his easy lifeline back into this game. It's still not over, but he's going to need a good, big read. Good air dodge mix up on the landing, and that is going to do it. Joe K taking game two.
Game three. That last one, Joe K kind of ran away with it at the start and started to lose the grip on the game, and then we'll see how this one goes. If that Kofu keeps the momentum he had from the last game, this match could be over pretty quickly. Doesn't look like it though. Joe K still finding his hits. Just going for the simple fair for the jab, which, yeah, if you can't reliably do the jab in the back air, that's probably the safer one. And that is not the easiest combo either. But side B, once again, doing its thing. There's a nice forward smash. Ooh, missed tech, and that is going to bring the mat game right back to even. Yeah, he's been very trigger happy with that up B. That hasn't been getting him too too punished so far. Though so that could change quickly. Takes the bite. Up throw, putting him in the air. Nice catch with that fair. And there we go. Weak Waft will take the stock. Yep, it's fully charged. It's a nightmare. But even at the weaker ones, it has its uses. But it does mean that he won't be seeing the fully charged one for a while. But with that, that stock lead, it might not matter. Ooh, there's a... Let's be thinking of taking early stocks. There's the forward smash from Roy. Still, uh, and at this rate, this, that might be it. Hmm, not quite. Jokei has a lot of ground to make up here. Uh, that might do it. No, just... <sighs> Needs to really make that punish count. Uh, just one up air, nothing too special. There's a nice forward smash. Not taking a stock with it. Good call out on the high recovery. Mm, got a little too greedy there and costed. Wait a second. Was that not top? Was that top eight? Uh, Joe K, Kofu, that was top. That's top eight. Okay, they were apparently confused, so... What's top eight? Yeah, I...
then if you play, like, basically, like, a decent game, you just go, for games, you play, like, all the good aggro, and then it was... Okay, Drift. Really warming up for this one. Here we go. Game four. Kofu on match point. Showcase. Oh, what was Kofu doing there? Uh, there is no reason he should have been Esting. Is Mar Wario with that side B and up B? To SD is Wario when you still have a bike on hand is bananas. Hmm, there's a nice forward smash at least. Catches him on the roll, putting him back off stage. Woohoo! Went for the suboptimal grab punish on that. There's a nice back air punish. Good pit. Good stuff. Back row putting him off stage. Nice back air. That's gonna. There's a nice trade. Any good. Ooh, that almost put him two stocks ahead. That probably is going to be the stock. Yes, it is. Went for the jab punish. A bit of a subpar punish there, at least on its own. If he'd gotten the jab into back air, that would would have been, would have been a good punish. Or even jab into forward air. Yep, that's going to do it. Uh, went for the up air instead of another nair. That's a bit of a subpar combo. We'll see. There we go. Nice use of the loft. Closing that stock gap right then and there. There's a nice tray, trade conversion. Definitely help if you could get the jab into back air down, though. For now, jab, jab into forward air, it's better than nothing. Oh, that was a nice frame trap. Side, landing side B and then forward smash for game. Nicely done, Joe K. Taking us to the ever pivotal game five. Now on to game five. It all comes down to this. Kofu going for the battlefield pick. Probably a good one for Wario. Definitely has more of those air combos than Roy does. Roy's up air is no slouch. And good ca catch on the 
thir third hit stop, and now he's firmly in control of the game right now. Or was, was. It's not ready for the air dodge onto the platform. Yep, it, it gets grabbed, it's thrown off. Just time, mistimes that back air by the tiniest bit. Uppy, I'm not sure how safe that up up smash is, but a uh, weak punish is better than no punish. I'm just going for the simple damage. That is definitely going to be the stock. Doing it again as a some kind of taunt? Uh, that's on the way to use it, I guess. Hmm. Interesting, was trapped on the platform by that well-timed back air. Just using that fair to stuff him out. It has a lot of active frames. Do keep that in mind. Nice double fair there. Ooh, that's an awkward missed punish. Probably should just be doing a forward smash on that. Ooh, there's an interesting one. Side being not quite enough to take the stock was a bit slow on that forward smash that might have done the trick otherwise back throw putting him off stage here's a nice up, up tilt conversion ooh bad bad exchange for Kofu putting him back off stage was that the safer option I don't know Hmm, wasn't ready to capitalize on that jab. The missed opportunity to punish that up smash. Dash attack. Oh, I was going to say it didn't quite do it, but Kofu is somehow still losing the stock. Down smash to put him off stage. That probably is going... Nope. Going low. Ooh. There's building up the percentage lead. Is that going to do it? Not quite. Gets back in time just barely. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think that's going to do it. Forward throw. Only a select few forward throws will be taking stocks. And Wario's is not one of them. The dash attack will absolutely do it. I think he still has the loft too, so Joe K is really gonna have to look out for that on this final stock of this fi final game. And that is going to do it! Joe K taking the match, continuing on to face Ant. But I'm not sure if we're gonna be putting them on stream next, because we've. because we do still have winner's finals to run. That Joe K. Roy looking decent. Can't really say clean if he's not reliably getting those jab in the back airs. But otherwise, not too shabby. Getting some gutsy reads and finding those some of those nightmarishly early stocks. That's the Roy way.
we'll see how long I get to commentate on this. Wasn't enough, but I tried. Doesn't help that it's very stretched out. Here we start. Ooh, there's a well, it's a reflect, not much, but it's still a reflect. So far, very close game. Or not really, but I'm Tendo not running away with it. Good dash attack, putting him off stage. Good avoidance because you do not want to get hit by the char reflected charge shots. Hmm, not able to get the down air conversion that time. Was not facing the right direction, otherwise, that would have been the easiest up smash in the world. There's a clever nair for the first stock. You don't see its fox take too many stocks with edge guarding just because it's usually too risky, but it can happen every once in a while. <laughs> Just getting every re correct read there for 64%. Still alive, too, at 150. Uh, yeah, you're not, you're not surviving that at 150 as Fox. Good, good read. Got a little greedy there and eats a... Oh, that was an interesting there, eating up. Uh, it was outside of the range of that up smash, but just barely surviving that one. A bit, probably a bit of weight and staling. Yeah, you're not surviving that though. Big lead for I'm Tendo here. It's going to be a daunting gap to make up. That's a nice one. Big reflect. That's. It's gonna take a lot for Meeks to take this game back. Oh, speaking of which. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure where I saw that miss number come from, and just run up and up smash. What else do you need at that percent? I'm Tendo, fearless at times with that. Up, fearless with that up smash. Granted, sometimes it becomes recklessness and gets him eaten for it. Most of the time, his up smash game is pretty on point.
nice, nice edge guard from Nintendo to take the first stock. <laughs> That's what he was practicing before the match for, and showing it how it pays off with a nice 42% in stage control. Might do it. Yes, it does. I'm Tendo <laughs> on fire this game. Neek's trying to make something happen with the charge shot into forward smash combo. Did not quite pan out. And I'm Tendo now almost two stocks ahead. Two full stocks ahead. That's. Well. It's gonna take a mir miracle for Meeks to come back into this game. Right now, keeping I'm Tendo off the stage, that's some not that's not nothing. Max Rage, a bit of a scary situation to be seeing off against Fox. Ooh, that's an interesting. And that's probably gonna do it. Yes, three stock destruction for game two. I'm Tendo now on match point. Is Sunny T and Samuel Camel still playing? <laughs> hmm. Neek's pulling out the Mario on game three. We'll see if he can make it work, but I, I still stand, generally stand by that going for the character switch at this point is usually a sign of desperation. Uh, but I can understand it. Just got three stocked for game two. Need Understandable he's feeling the need to mix something up. Ooh, there's a one-up smash. Ooh, catching him with the forward smash. Catching Meeks at getting desperate to get out of the... Get to back to neutral and taking the stock with it. You don't see Foxes throw out the forward smash too much. It's not the greatest one in the world, but it does its job when it needs to. And that's what's important. Not, the, not a good trade for Meeks. There we go. Nice forward smash. Take the first stock at least. Catching him, stalling on the ledge. Not not gonna be able to take a crazy percent of combo with the <laughs> that percent. Not gonna happen. And just catch some dropping shield for that second stock. Not the it's not as looking as bad as the last game. He at least took a stock, so that's not nothing. See if he can take a second one. At this rate, I have my doubts. And that's gonna do it. Or is it? That is definitely gonna do it. And there we go. 3-0, I'm Tendo. He is unstoppable tonight.
Looks like Samuel Camel and Sunny T finally wrapped up, so he'll probably have them against whoever won at that against me on stream next. Are you on stream? Are you next? <laughs> Got gotcha. Sunny T and DDR Master N. <laughs> I have no idea how this matchup goes. I would favor DDR. I think DDR is it's just a very solid player. He's a very solid player, but he can struggle with like finding ways around neutral. Alright, never mind. Sony's popping up. Like, oh man, he didn't, he didn't know what to do against that forward smash. Didn't know that Duck Hunt crouches down. I guess now he knows. <laughs> he ran a mile. He, dude, that man is getting cooked. That poor guy. He got. He was on fire for like 10 seconds straight. My goodness. Mm, good, good catch. And the aggressive landing from uh, DDR. Oh, that's big. Being able to find kills at like as soon as that up air can kill at like 120 or so is big for Duck Hunt. So many times I've watched Duck Hunt games have three stocks where the opponent lives to 180. I think it's rough. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot that Yo-Yo just destroys his character. Duck Hunt has no good answers to, to Yo-Yo. He's forced to take a very predictable, like, high recovery to react to it. Completely forgot that's 
That would be... Double neutral air, a classic. Oh, he... He tried to just hit him with the can, but he needed another move to pop him up into it. I was kind of expecting up air can. He's... This was just being locked down, man. We are gonna move this. Oh, but now he's beating the ass. Cooked beans! It's gonna be a ready meal. He's gone camping. He's just... <laughs> Have you ever done that? You cook beans over a fire while camping? It's not good. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, as far as, like, camping food goes, it's not bad, but, like... There are... Oh my god, he died! <laughs> Dude, that was... <laughs> Oh, what's the fighting game that's with baseballs? Something League? This is a character from them, as it turns out. Backyard Baseball. Ness. Ness is right. Oh, dude, he... He went into that. <laughs> oh, so this is where the can's in? Don't mind if I do. It's hard to keep track of something. Dude, it's custom moves. Ness's up B just explodes him now. This is crazy. Ah, uh, that was a really good reaction or read, I suppose, on the rollout of the forward air drag down. The dash attack just didn't want to connect, which is unfortunate. Dash attack really doesn't want to connect today. Also, I have no idea when it happened, but DDR is just winning. By like a, a good bit here. I would I would hella favor Ness here. Except for seven dash attacks failing. Ooh, tickles him a bit. Good coverage from the can. I suppose that's a good way to get back if you can <laughs> have amazing can management. Ah, oh. Gets caught before it pops him up just enough to make it awkward for the landing. I think you have to air dodge out there unless you get smoked. <laughs> Even then, it might still just be true. Landing is weird in this game. Like, landing and how it, how it works with combos. This game's winner is... They're, they're waiting. They're, they're figuring some stuff out. Like YouTube playlists. Oh, look that music. You gotta have good tunes. If you want to. You never have bad tunes. You can't afford to have bad music. That's why I despise people who play like Mona Pizza. I I I hated my, I hate my for that one, honestly. Dude, Duckman has a big grab. This dog is he's got chompers, man. Reaches for much. Yeah. Unfortunate buffered air dodges. That time the buffered air dodge worked. <laughs> He's fishing for that home run. Solid throw in the bomb. <laughs> Remember when I would side B, you would side B? Or I would side B spot dodge, you would side B spot dodge? And we'd spend hours looking at the neutral. He keeps doing this side B and then when he gets shielded. Oh. Maybe Yo-Yo is terrible, actually. Worse than the game. <laughs> he got the bat, but at what cost? Oh, solid. Solid read on that advantage. These guys... Playing very well right now. <laughs> he lived? Duck Hunt sucks. This character would never be Tweak. Uh, this... This feels rough. This feels like it's probably it, yeah. That situation feels really bad as Duck Hunt. There's not a lot you can do there. <laughs> no jump. No jump means no time to get can out. And an early up B means Ness can react pretty well.
it's really kind of odd that Duck Hunt has the restriction like no other actionable up he has where he has to do a move when he ends it. You can't like drop the up B and then do a move because it'll put you in free fall if you don't cancel it with a move. It's so weird. Burn him? <laughs> Lightning loses the fishing rod. If there's ever a storm out, just go fishing. Go out uh, on that water with a boat and the fishing rod. If there's anything Smasher's taught me, it's that it works. You know its ability on pocket if he's in the every time. Oh! Uh, it would be quite weird if you could pocket up being an S can use it again. I'm pretty sure that is not the case. You never know. I also wonder how throwing lightning out works. Because you can't really like... I mean, it's a controlled projectile, right? I'm kind of surprised that it was the uh, forward air instead of the up air. Because the up air is true. I don't think that forward air drag down grab was true, but it worked out. Yeah, forward air drag down is weird. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and this dies for it. <laughs> big, big fire? On top of the... What's that called? Lloyd Rocket? Waits out the spot dodge, but gets caught by the Lloyd Rocket. Dies off the side, actually, because he kept drifting left after he died. <laughs> Not an interaction I can say I've seen before. Well, it's been yoinked. <laughs> but DDR's moves are, like, not working this set. Okay, just go, just go straight. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> he just shot some poor civilian with that sling. <laughs> ah, not quite enough juice. Sets up the rocket. Holding neutral. Solid advantage here. He's, he's getting getting really good, real good hits in. Ah, <laughs> uh, the rocket despawned as soon as DDR had an opportunity to get back into center. Well, I'm just gonna slow swing out of here. Oh, dude, we got a rock paper scissors. Fishing rod beats lightning, but fire beats rod. It's just like Pokemon. Fire being activated on that grounded load rocket is quite annoying. Oh, he's he sh probably should have died there. Oh, catches him with the rockets. He definitely can do it with one good edge guard. No punish. Uh, but it is really hard. <laughs> A single solid hit from DDR. Two solid hits from DDR and he's gone. Oh. Oh, yeah. He got through and the um would be like that. Quick 30. That's kinda an interesting situation. The extra hit lag from the balloons actually kinda got in the way a little bit. Yeah, that seemed like both matchups were very rough. Uh that good play from DDR. Solid play. Um, I would never want to play that match. <laughs> that is difficult. Yo, oh, they're on battlefield mode. Was it DDR Ant? <laughs> See, do I back it up on this? Yeah, it's just DDR Master versus Ant. This one, I'm pretty sure Ant's got a pretty solid record on DDR Master. So, <laughs> maybe he'll make it work today. We might see something. Why is those mouse cursed scroll backwards, dude? Oh, that felt weird. Sorry. My world has been changed. Now I look on reality. I'll never be the same man. Uh -huh. 
Hero Ness. So Ness can edgeguard Hero very well. But Hero can kill quickly and has a sword. Two things that I think Ness can struggle with. <laughs> Dying and getting cut in half. Things that a child should not do. But he might do it. He might do it nine times or more. <laughs> Shit, I guess he could do it up to uh, 13 times. That would be brutal. Yeah, there's that forward air. It's not quite a true combo into the grab there. And it's just able to up B out. Hero up B is a very solid get off me tool. <laughs> and, for, and it's quite solid using these <laughs> He is side being. He, <laughs> he's shocking this child. Uh, gets goes aggressive when flame slashes on the <laughs> on the menu. Yep, that's a combo. Gotta avoid that. <laughs> and it's right next to the ledge like that. Here can combo into the down air, into the back air. He's got ways to kill you. A lot of ways. <laughs> All of them are terrifying. <laughs> but he's got pretty well mana here. <laughs> so maybe DR can make something work. But Ant's just keeping him out, man. And he's got like... <laughs> not full mana, but he's got enough mana to do pretty much any spell he wants right now. Especially Accelerado. This would be terrifying. Doesn't go for the up air drag down in the back throw there. I don't know if it would have killed Excel Rattle. He is a little lighter. And just knows. He just knows. He doesn't know how to DI that. <laughs> oh god. Bro just ran through the fire. No fear. They're, they're pressing buttons. They're hitting shields. I think Hero's really good at hitting shields. Oh, no crit. <laughs> Gets the footstool. Oh. Spooky. It's that month. It's a scary month. Oh. Yeah, this is tough. One good hit, unless he just gets the kill. I mean, he's, mm. Never mind. Never mind. No, I said that he needs to knock it cut in half by a sword, and I think that was a pretty good dissection. Alright, we got the wolf. I guess DDR feels about how I do about this matchup. It's not great, but honestly, Wolf might have a pretty, pretty darn good shot. I feel like he can contest with a lot of what Hero likes to do in neutral. <laughs> Though he does have to play a, a lot different from, from Ness and a lot more passive than a lot of Wolf players want to play. So we'll see how DDR takes it. I think Wolf is very good at sort of air to airing people. Just jumping up there and hitting them before they land, and I feel like that's a lot of what, if not Hero, at least Ant likes to do. So, <laughs> DDR might have a solid chance here. Oh, Hero, Ant's just getting buffs. This is spooky. Able to shield the psych up though, that's big. Loses all of the mana from that neutral special. <laughs> that's. That's really big. Honestly, Hero not having the mana for that neutral special option is... It's it's very big. Because not only does it take away an option, but it takes away an option that, like, hit. We've got no lag. We've got no lag in all the lag. That shit reach. I can't think of any word that lines up. Yeah, he had the mana for it. Neutral special is good. <laughs> that shit is good. 
Uh, kind of surprised I did that to be honest. I thought with no rage it wouldn't, it wouldn't kill him. But... <laughs> Pinch it. He's psyched. I don't think Psych Up's really all that great here. <laughs> and it's not bad. Like, you still take it, but it's not like nearly as scary as Psych Up usually is. <laughs> Solid comp. DDR's, DDR's doing it. <laughs> it goes to reflect the uh, snooze. But he's taking damage. Oomph's putting it on. Oh, misses the timing. I knew Hero was gonna do or I was gonna do some wacky shit. <laughs> I don't know what he was looking for on that forward smash. One up jab or grab maybe. Zoom. <laughs> Caught reading. That's one thing that I think is, is a lot nicer in this match than the Ness matchup. There are a lot of situations where Ness is slow enough that Hero does get a chance to just read for free. You can just look at the menu and see if there's this perfect spell that you want. But you don't really get to do that nearly as much as Wolf. Especially because Ness, if you do it, he's got like dash attack. And that's about it. And dash attack isn't great at killing. That was like... Perfect after it hit the shield to grab that. I'm looking pretty good for DDR, but Hero is capable of simply killing you at early. Uh, too early to catch the uh, Legiment's ability. Good punish on the jumping aerial from Ant. <laughs> Shoots him out of the menu. Dash attack. Good position. Oh, no grab from Ant, and the up smash is going to take it. DDR pull out the wolf to good effect. Get that Ness off here. He's got the dog in him, man. I haven't seen a whole lot of DR Wolf lately. He can go the distance. I believe in him. I also believe in Ant, though, which is like a problem. This conflict deep within my soul. I didn't see what stage they went to. Did they just go back to stadium? No, alright, good. They're not Googles. Kind of feel like, uh... I don't know. Hero does have some crazy, like, setups for this stage, but I feel like DDR isn't landing aggressively with aerials enough to, like, get hit by the swish, swoosh, swash stuff the hero has on this stage. <laughs> Bro is getting shot. <laughs> He's getting shot and he wants to throw thunder. Yeah, and Ant's trying to play further back and DDR is getting pretty good at just managing the counterplay of that. Does have to be careful that neutral special. Oh, he goes for the shield and gets poked actually. Not what I was expecting. I figured it would have healed a bit more since that psych up back air, but he did not. Ooh, that that air dodge in scared me. I know Ant was preparing some. Right, I got no words. Man's got jab locked. He's, DDR's doing real well at bursting into Ant's like, defensive line here. <laughs> but Ant's, Ant's not dying and he's getting solid damage in after that early stop. Psych up. <laughs> consumed. Doesn't move. DDR not willing to call it out. Now this is... I know after that shield poked him, DDR's thinking like, I gotta shine it, but the bounce was on, and it got his noggin, so maybe he wasn't thinking that. <laughs> Hero's capable of flight now. Wolf assisted flight. Doesn't get the two frame. Catches him on the landing though. It's gonna be a hard ask for DDR here. But I think Wolf does have the tools to get like three solid neutral wins. And if, if he finds him in the right spots, he can't even this up quickly. Can also always just play <laughs> like incredibly solid. 
So we're going for the shield break. And Ant wants to stock right now. Psych up Oomph. Back will just shield. Yeah. He fished for that so hard. And as he should, he got it. Two to one. That was, I feel like the wolf could still do it. That was a bit, a couple rough situations. Two early deaths. Two early deaths, one really early on, which really sucks against Hero, I think. Because if you die early on, it's just, it's so hard, because Hero, you kind of have to, it's a war of attrition sometimes, you have to get the low mana. Good opener. And Ant straights her. And Ant answers straight back. What is there? Gunned. A lot of swings, couple misses, but one good hit from DDR <laughs> just sends it inwards with the gun. That terrifying. Oh, uh, and there you go. <laughs> good reflect on on DDR's part. Keeping keeping Ant a little more honest. That one was a little greedy. Okay, so now he can't... Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't want to be... I didn't want to have advantage. Ooh, spot dodge F smash, a classic. The smash ultimate. Gambit pays off. Shoots him and actually puts him on platform with a missed tech. I'm amazed how like good a situation they created. That gun hitbox is a bit wild. And the... The sizzle? No, I, I don't know what the fuck that is. The side B level 2 hitbox is also crazy. Ah, DDR's placing hitboxes really well right here. <laughs> Ooh, that was scary, but it worked out real well. I'm very surprised it didn't pop a shield. I guess if uh, it put a little more sauce on it. DDR is playing around Ant's tricks now. This is this is very very good gameplay. This is impressive. So I did not think the wolf was like that. You know, like he <laughs> he just got that in his back pocket. Dang, he's got teletricks. This is like pretty practice. Good punish on the accelerado pull. A lot of players don't punish Hero when he pulls the buffs like that. And you do have a pretty like decent window <laughs> to just swing. Doesn't get the two from a flame slash. Gets the back air. Not quite gonna do it. Psych up makes it so yeah, it be. <laughs> yeah, with the psych up there, pretty much anything will do it. And up throw counts as anything. Solid combo, solid advantage, 100% with 100 mana with Accelerado. <laughs> and just been getting hit after hit right here. <laughs> Bit scary on the side of DDR here. <laughs> Gets reflected again. DDR. He's he's like gimmicking back. Or at least, like, he, he's like, get, get out of here with these gimmicks. He killed him three times because Ant went for one of his, one of his tricks. Two reflected kabooms that were supposed to kill. That last one wasn't really another stack, but we're trying to kill him at a pretty early point. And then uh, he jumped over that neutral special. And if the can keep playing like this, he'll take it. But Ant... There's no slouch. Nothing to, to sneeze at. <laughs> Do not sneeze in my man's direction, or he will break your shield. Three, two, one, go. I'm just quite surprised this happened with a wolf. I, <laughs> I've i seen this wolf come out before. I've never seen it do like this much better than his nest in, in a matchup. Now, his nest was kind of getting tossed, but the wolf is... Wolf is doing it. Sizzles the shield. 
Oh, catches the roll in with the back hit of the down smash, but gets caught missing the tech. No jump. No. That was very scary for Ant. I did shitted myself. DDR is not shy to pull the trigger on some of these these interactions with <laughs> that barely missed. Like that that was actually so close. Gets the forward tilt. Doesn't get the down tilt. <laughs> Accelerado and Psych Up. A bit spooky. Psych Up's gone though. <laughs> so got yeah. oh he's lost the Accelerado actually, but he's still got advantage here, which is a little scary. Hero can do some pretty nasty stuff like that, falling back off the platform. Taking the stock at like 120. <laughs> Solid back air. Oh, dude. Calls him out on the instant drop through platform. Just knew the timing. <laughs> knew the timing. There's not really a lot Hero can do to challenge that. And we just have to mix it up some other ways. As soon as he decided to fall through that platform and try to hit DDR with a move, though, it was <laughs> done and dusted. <laughs> Good recognition to not reflect that whack, because the reflector was on. I think it goes in like a random direction, so <laughs> it's still kind of hard to hit, but... Oh, uh, good, good, good read with the up smash, even on the miss. It's just such a safe move that he doesn't really lose a lot for it. <laughs> Gets crossed up... <laughs> On oh God, he just he knew he knew it. He knowed it. He's trying to reflect something. Gets the grab. How does Ant get off ledge? He just jumps over, but he ends up getting caught. Punished for that falling aerial. <laughs> Air dodge back to the platform is pretty good. The clank favors Ant. He's a bit quicker to react. <laughs> and he goes for that early stock to the neutral again. He was at full mana, so he doesn't really lose a lot for it, if I'm being honest. And he gains a couple more options off of ledge. Gets knocked out of zoom? That's pretty big. He's kind of walling DDR out with these back... Oh, the grab whiffed. <laughs> Terrifying. Bit of a weird upbeat, if I'm being 100, but he gets it with the psych up up tilt. Very solid showing from DDR, though. That was a little more, a little more, and he'd, I think he would have taken that with a little more. I and mean, that was, that was good. <laughs> the wolf. Yep, making progress. The wolf's coming out, and it's coming out swinging. <sighs> considering, I'm consider. on my mind, I'm considering a, for my wolf, using the tag whispering. Something that you'll probably only get if you're a Sonic fan. I, that's a Sonic character, right? Whisper? Whisper the Wolf, yep. I think I have seen that before. I'm not a Sonic fan, though. Well, well one, of the, uh, one of the IDW comics OCs, you know. Um, but, anyways, we're, this isn't about me. This is about... This is now about Ant and Meeks. Ant and Meeks. <laughs> Meeks won in winners. This is a run back from semifinals. Yep. Both these players been playing games. And now they're back in losers finals. Facing yet again. Yep, it's a bit of a weird... Well, it's, it's a bit of a weird matchup. Just... Since Samus is so projectile focused, the moment that bounce is online, it's a huge problem for Samus. <laughs> it's actually really interesting watching all this. The charge shot just like puts a timer down for a lot of hero stuff. Where Ant can't use, like, he couldn't use Sizzle. <laughs> he couldn't do the early side because it just traded with the. Oh. Nope. Darn. <sighs> to see it. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh oh. Roll gets caught, but a really good tech. That's hard to time. Psyken up in. He's in this. Yeah, that <laughs> Just grabs him. It's just getting a little desperate to finish out the oh. stock, and it's. 
That's... Damn, this sucks! Her up smash is definitely bad. Probably a bottom 10 up smash in the game, just because it... Probably bottom oh. 5, even, just because it's so... So unreliable. Meeks just, like, knows, man. Meeks has been correct on it, what Ant's gonna do, like, three times in a row. One of them should've killed, two of them did kill. Yep. It's gonna take a lot for Actually, Ant to take this kill. game from here. He knew that Ant was gonna directional air dodge off stage and he killed him. It's crazy. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That was all Meeks. Such a good player. Hmm. Yeah, a... like, it's just... Sending out that mini charge, damn. Sending out that mini charge shot creates such a timer for Ant, where he has to do something. And sometimes it looks like he panics and throws something out that Meeks can just avoid and get free damage. I feel like Psychop doesn't do a lot here. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was a, that, that should have been the game. <laughs> I I almost was eating my words. That was bad DI. Yeah, you can only cheat the Reaper so many times. <laughs> that the Reaper was. The Reaper was beating my man up. He died to up B at like 160 post hit. He died at 50 to an air dodge off stage. He got down at 80. The Grim Reaper wanted Ant. And he got him. <laughs> yup. Uh, also, there is like a Grim Re a Reaper weapon in this game. But you never <laughs> see him on, in tournament because items are cringe. Dude, every time I use that weapon, I just... It's so greedy for the insta kill 100. I never fucking get it. I hate it. <laughs> I want to get it so bad. And I never do. How do I not get it? It's like a big hitbox. It's easy to hit. I think it's a precise hitbox too, kind of like Ridley Skewer. Oh, it's got a sweet spot. Why do they give a sweet spot on that? They got fucking gust bellows in this game. You got easy baby mode items, man. <laughs> yeah. Just make the cool one easy. <laughs> Deleting someone at 100% is way cooler than they get two framed and put in a free. It just like stopped his upping. That was weird. It like no impact landed and then the hero fell out. Interactions do be like that in this game sometimes, especially with multi hits, which is a big problem with Samus's up smash. <laughs> it is the multi hittiest of multi hits in this game. Yeah, it is bad. It's like a strong move, guys, so it still feels like you have to use it often. Gets often! Kicked with the psych up. Yeah. Man, Accelerado honestly doesn't feel amazing in this matchup. You can get the combos. But like, Accelerado is usually pretty good because it, it gets you off of ledge very well. But Samus's ledge traps are amazing, guys. Yeah. Ledge trap setups from Samus just kind of shut it down for disadvantage. <laughs> There we go, the kaboom. Yeah, it gets boomed on. Boom, boom, boom. I want you to fuck out of my room. Oof. Oof. You got stabbed through a cardboard. Carb? It's cardboard. You think that's going to stop a sword? <laughs> no. It doesn't stop me from using this cardboard. I think an evasion from me. Still managed to find his way in. Get that up B. <laughs> Very good bait and punish. Yeah, like, against most other characters, he might have been able to use Accelerado to get, like, above the ledge and get something crazy, but that that bomb on ledge just shuts him down, doesn't get the tech. <laughs> Nicely done by Ant taking the yeah, lead. Yeah, good recognition and setup. <laughs> there we go. Now good spot, though. As I said, the bounce is a huge problem for Samus in this matchup. But, but Samus's back air is a huge solution in this matchup. <laughs> Indeed. Kick my man's skull straight through. That was weird. He clanked with the charge shot on the way down. But now has it again. And not going to be oh, getting get the turnaround. Getting it, getting Lou lost to a back air <laughs> this percent. <laughs> and that's going to uh, go. Ah, it doesn't air dodge through. But I don't think he had a jump, so it might have been checkmate again. Uh, okay. well, even with the air dodge, I think he was pretty screwed. It's a very difficult move to avoid. Well, you can... I've done it... I did it once back in the design. You can neutral air dodge through it with most characters. And since Samus is floaty, her air dodge lasts longer, so you can probably definitely do it. But it puts you lower, and if, if he doesn't have a jump, he's dead. If he does have a jump, he might just get hit with the up under ledge as well. So it's, it's still rough. Yeah, it's still pretty rough. Very precise air dodge. <laughs> it is difficult. It is very difficult. 
Now on to Battlefield, which is kind of like Yoshi's story, but without the jank. Jankus. <laughs> That's not true. Solid reactions. Doesn't commit to anything, just reacts to Ant's position and gets a solid advantage. Of points that back here. Just gets him back into center. <laughs> it almost leads to the stock. It still might. It does. Yes. Greedy Accelerado pull. Very greedy. And got sniped for it. Yep, got called out. Psych up's a little spooky here, but there's not too many ways for him to get anything super cheeky. Well, there's a big shield. <laughs> And yeah. that's the hero There's special. One of, one of the ways to get cheeky with that psycho. I've said it before. Hero has pr probably the best shield breaking game in the entire cast to do the combination of yes. re can reliably break shields and can punish. He can do it in one hit with a back air and then kill you for it very easily. He, I agree with that sentiment. Like. Who else might compete? Maybe Ganondorf, but he's garbage, and that's only because of his back. He's neutral. Um, <laughs> who else am I, like, scared of shield breaks on? Marth actually does have a pretty good shield breaking game. Yeah. But and... not even close to Hero. The yeah. big thing with Hero is that he can do it with just regular moves. Yeah. It, with Marth and Lucina, it's one very specific move, and... It's a bad move. It's... Huh? It's with a bad move. Like, their neutral special, it, it's a decent kind of shield sometimes, but you kind of have to break it. And most situations where you do a neutral special, like, you just floor it and you just save it. Yeah, it's Forward a... error, F tilt. But even when you do get it, you're not always going to be... It's it's not always going to be taking the stock, because it's not the strongest kill move in the world. Yeah. Which... Unless you fully charge it. Even at full charge, it's like 50. <laughs> Psych up into buffered up tilt. And it's looking like he might win the run back. Yeah. Uh, that, we've got kind of sidetracked on the shield break, but th it's kind of justified because that's where the momentum of that the That was really where it, yeah, where it changed big time. We'll see if he gets another shield break in these next games or if Meeks can take it back. What or since I'm before? in the mood... Or since I'm referencing Sonic characters, clutch it back. <laughs> oh shit, I don't know that one. <laughs> uh, it's my OC. <laughs> it's not. I mean, I guess it's an, another IDW OC. And then whoever you beat, you'll have to tangle with. I'll have to send him packing. Fighting for, the, fighting for the silver. Well, <laughs> and beat me last time. And beat me last time, but I'll win this time. We'll see if this match ends in a blaze of glory. I've I've got all night, and also as wearing a sans, my sans sweatshirt, I have every right to pun as hard as I want. Oh, that gives you the the, the pass. You see, the pun pass. Here we go. Going to very good advantage. I, I kind of, I think maybe he doesn't want to give Ant space to like. Oh, you do not see that move land very often, but it is nightmarishly strong. <laughs> good read, and Ant takes the stock in two interactions. Yikes! Because that's <laughs> that's what Ant does. That I think that's the first time I've seen him take a stock with that thing, because it's crazy strong, but it's like Ganondorf neutral B. It takes forever to come out. He's at 66 already. He gets both hit in neutral air, but still gets punched with the drop down. Quite floating and very easy to punish as a result. I'm surprised a sour spot sent that far. That was greedy for Meeks, but he gets away with it. Uh, he has a mountain to climb to take this game back. He does. <laughs> but it is Smash Bros. One good gimp and you're in. Or one SD. No <laughs> boy. Dang, goes for the goes for the neutral special charge and gets called out for it. Two stocks 
gone pretty quickly. And has the bounce, which is always a bad thing to be facing. Uh, almost gets a wild combo for the earliest kill on the planet. Probably wouldn't have been the stock, but it would have been dangerously close and be huge damage. All right, we're gonna start from Meeks. This is uh, this is the true test of one's mental game. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna You're not to... done if you win, but you have to win, so that you know that there's only gonna be more stress if you win. Right now, making a which good is a big effort. test. You went for the grab and was not ready for that air dodge. <laughs> Kind of surprises me. Meeks is usually on good punish. Pretty on point with those. Good. <laughs> good punish. This, I mean, one or two good can like strings. That stops it. <laughs> Massive. He's got it. He has a fighting chance. He's ledge trapping. This is almost even. <laughs> He's yep. almost brought it back. He's almost got the mental game of champions. He's back. He's winning. Oh, this is not the outcome I was expecting, but it ain't over yet, folks. It's anything but over, bro. Punishes the psych up. What's the advantage? <laughs> Goes for the down tilt a little early on the roll. Punishes it with a force smash. What a Meeks comeback. Is, Meeks is a godlike human being. The men, the, His brain is a steel cage. You can't get through. No matter how much mana you have. No matter how many stocks you got. <laughs> yep. You just gave him a bad time, that one. From two stocks behind. <laughs> Oh, dang. I also did not know that Hero of Tilt is like that. Probably. Beyond a shadow <laughs> of a doubt, that was a great comeback. Yes, that was another another but Sonic pun. It's anything but over. Yep. Meek still has to spend another game not dying at 50% three times in a row. And he Ant is thinking about where he wants to go. Yeah, that's not... I mean, that game... Probably should have been his, but Meeks pulled it all the way back. He's taking him to Meeks' stage. He, I guess he thought he had that. <laughs> had that under control, wanted to run it back. Well, we'll see if he does, but it's going to be a lot harder. To, I don't think he's going to get that big of an advantage again, so it's going to be a much... This is definitely going to be a much more difficult game to win, probably. Three, two, one, go! Going with the white Samus alt. <laughs> They're both up being out of there. Yeah. Samus is probably the better of the two, but oh. Uh, all right, he's testing his mental game again. He's just in the hyperbolic <laughs> mentality I, time chamber. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that bounce actually really messes with Samus's ledge jumping. It's big because the uh, the down B doesn't work either. Learn from his mistakes. Only does one hit of the Rekka. It's a bit scary. <laughs> it's copping the neutral special and the downward special. With grab, no great punish, and just forward smashes him out of it. I'm pretty sure that's not a punish, but got it sleeping. And despite that earlier SD, he's kind of back in it. Yep. I mean, he came back from a two stock deficit. It's compared to that, that is nothing. <laughs> Still difficult. Good catch. <laughs> Interesting that he chose to end it out. Guess he just wasn't confident that he would be able to get the follow up. Which sometimes that you and have doesn't to really get a good pull there, and he doesn't get the neutral special either, but gets the scissor. out. <laughs> Shoots yeah. him in the face. <laughs> Shoots him in the face. Throwing him off stage. Blows his face up. Blows his face up again. Almost shoots his face, but doesn't read the joke. There, there was a good roll. They're making him waste a charge shot. <laughs> they both just threw explosives at each other. Yeah. Oh, dude, shot out of the zoom. That is a big deal. It is a big deal, and misses the four there, and the accelerator actually works against him. Makes him slide past after the whiff and into the range of the forward smash. I don't know if that would have happened on regular hero. Reads the air dodge, gets the forward smash, no jump. That was an optimal punish, too. Nicely done, Meeks. Aw, <laughs> oh, dude, it's... It's Jover. It's Jover. Like, it's... <laughs> I don't know, man. Meeks is... Meeks is a man with momentum right now. Yeah, he's... Like, he's a train full of freight. Unstoppable. Or, or full of Sonic characters. 
that. I will leave. Murder of the Sonic a Hedgehog reference for if if Ant wins this, I will. I'll, I'll be a dumbass, I guess. We'll see. we'll see if he can bring it back, but if a this... few good reads and he definitely can do it. <laughs> he's definitely getting a, a couple solid hits from Meeks here, but he's got to get past the edge guard. Goes with Psycho. Ooh, there's a get stopped back air. Good di. Air dodges solid. Uh, it's almost <laughs> over. Not a lot of room for air left for no, Andrew. Not a guy. lot, and he catches the jump. Dude, and Meeks. he got utterly creamed. <laughs> Meeks? Well, okay, not really, but I couldn't resist at least one more Sonic Meeks punch is, tonight. Meeks is him, man. All right. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Thank you. And... Well, many tales will be told about that comeback. Nicely done by Meeks, just bringing that that match back after nearly getting smoked out at a two-stock deficit. There we go. Drop the mic. That's no good. Okay, did I... That's... Okay, I'm glad the mic isn't broken. Now we are on to Grand Finals Meeks versus I'm Tendo. Here we go. Let's, Meeks is going into this with some ni nice momentum on his side. We'll see if it stays that way. Starting out strong. But at the same time... <laughs> Ooh, there's a, that was an interesting up smash. But he eats the down B for, to escape. That's an interesting use. You don't see it used as a combo breaker too much. But it's fast, so it's a viable use. I don't think he's gonna get back from that. Yep, I'm Tendo going for the shine spike for the stock. Got, didn't get the sweet spot. Wonder if that would have taken the stock if it had been. Hmm, trying to go for the footstool cheese. <laughs> Dig it. Back air just barely does it. Hmm, that's an interesting one. What a read by Meeks. Oof. Looking pretty good. Mm, boy. Very even, even game right now. 
Let's see what it comes back to. Ooh, and just one up smash. That's all it took. Here we go. Big damage. Big damage. 76% going f and going off stage deep for that first game showing no mercy. Makes pulling out the pink alt for the counter pick truly the most important part of of counter picking. There's one reflect. Didn't amount to much, unfortunately, for me. Well, for I'm Tendo. Ooh, there's a better one. Going for a... Trying to return Meek's own technique against him. Trying to go for a forward smash conversion. Gutsy stuff. It looks like it was, went too high for that to work. 69%. And it's gone. Up smash once again. <laughs> that hurts. Knows his stuff. That training mode session paid off tonight. Ooh. And Meek's finding the conversion for that first stock. Yep. Meek's paying dearly for his overly aggressive use of that charge shot and that smartly charging it a bit to ensure that what took the stock. I'm Tendo keeping control of this match. There's a nice down throw into back air conversion. Down smash, putting him off stage. Ooh, nice nair. Mm. Hmm, just really doing his best to remind him, hey, I have this reflect and you better respect it. Nice back air from Meeks to put him in a bad situation still he's got he's still more likely to win this game than not doesn't have to do nearly as much as Meeks does to take the game here well, at the same time Meeks just really just needs one charge shot into forward smash to do it it's, the problem is that that is <laughs> like that and there we go catches Meeks jumping and takes game two already on tournament point Going back to the white alt. It's do or die for Meeks here. Gonna have to win the next three games to get the uh, reset. Making something happen right at the moment. Keeping him off stage. Hasn't taken a single percent this stock. Just, yeah, the reflect is good, but you can only rely on it so much before the 
opponent will catch on to your reflect habits and punish you for him. Zero to death to start this game. Meek's making a statement. He is down but not out. We'll see if I'm Tendo can bring it back or not. Oh, just a bit of a suboptimal punish there. Good in air. Trying to find that finisher, finish to the first stock. <laughs> and Meeks snipes him and get now at the two stock lead. We'll see if I'm Tendo can tur turn it around on Meeks and re reverse three stock him. But that is no, t no easy task. Finally taking the first stock of this game off Meeks. That's a start. You often see foxes go for the F tilt after the dash attack. So almost did it up, got up to some epic combo shenanigans there. Just not quite panning out. There we go. Two stocks down. Doing his taunt. Uh, Meeks is probably feeling the pressure now. Yeah. 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 Just tried to get some big combo shenanigans going. Not quite able to get the full conversion. Feels like he's got Meeks on the download here. Oh boy. There's... Yeah, I didn't want it to end like that. Please, no. Oh, going for the grab. Probably the smart move. Not at a high enough percent for the up smash to do the trick. And back air, not quite enough to close it out. Still not over, right? Ooh, up smash. <laughs> Charge the wrong way. <laughs> Nearly brought it all the way back, but that one mistake just let it go from there. That would have been a pretty demoralizing loss for Meeks, but, but so we'll see if he can keep up the momentum from there. But momentum is kind of a reach when you get nearly lost um, game where you were up two stocks. One nice reflect. Hmm, there, that was an interesting forward smash attempt. Hmm, went for it. I don't think that he meant to do grab there. Feels like he meant to do a forward smash and did a grab by mistake. It's hard to challenge that at, from some angles. Well, that's a difficult move to challenge onto the stage in general, unless you have a really good disjoint. 
Taking the stock with a landing up air. Not the most common way to do it. But taking a stock is what matters. Yep, I'm Tendo's shield and parry game on point. Uh, got the back air, the sour spot though, not enough to be taking stocks. That is enough to take stocks, catching him up being too high. Tendo put, keeping him off stage, catches the landing with the grab. Good charge shot into dash attack. Back air, putting Meeks off stage. Ooh, there's a clever one. I'm tender just going for a lot of options, waiting for Meeks to drop shield and drop it. He does. There we go. Nice catch on the down air onto stage. There's a nice back air. Nearly takes the stock with it. And there we go. Jab lock city. Uh, dropped it pretty early though. So a bit of a suboptimal dash attack. Weak sour spot. Nothing going to be lose lost to that one. Up B still not enough. Yeah, that was a pretty safe distance. There we go. Down air into dash attack. The Fox Classic. Not ready to punish that low up B. Dash attack still not enough. Oh boy. Get into the per up smash percents. The scary percents to be out of as Samus. Well, to be, well, not just Samus, to be at against Fox. Charge shot, finally doing the trick. At 190, it's very weird to be seeing Fox live to that percent. Fourth lightest character in the game, folks. And that will do it. I'm Tendo taking the tournament 3-1. And <sighs> Meeks denied him the reverse three stock in the last game, but ultimately he was just delaying the inevitable. I'm Tendo is your champ tonight. Thank you all for, for tuning in and thank you to the players for playing tonight. We will see you next week which will probably be the Halloween special. And since I got it, messed it up last week, let me be clear. November 4th, Cold Hard Cash. If you are a Melee player in Utah, be there or be square. And that's enough for tonight. See you all next week.